This is Boxing Talk A five seven six man. Um, just looking at Ellie setback in his interviews. Uh, you know, interviewing people about the fight yesterday. And uh, Mayweather was out. He gave a lot of um, he gave a lot of you know camera time to uh, to um, Ellie sketch back. And he was telling him that he ordered the May the, the Manny Pacquiao fight. He usually don't order. Uh, Bob Aram um, fights because he don't want to get no money back to um, top rank. But I know for a fact that Mayweather always order Pacquiao fights. He, even before they fought, you you want to see the guy and how the guy's doing. So for him to say he never ordered a Pacquiao fight, that's ludicrous. But anyway, that's Mayweather talking. You know how he talks. But um, I believe Mayweather is missing the light, the limelight, man. Mayweather is really, really missing you know, the lights, camera, action of boxing, man, because he's used to being the center of attention. And when fighters, I'm noticing when other fighters are starting to get a little center of attention, you know, may, may well they get a little agitated because he feel like, you know, he still got the throne and he has never lost the throne, which he's, he's rightfully so and believing that and thinking that he has not lost the throne in the ring. But in order for him to keep the throne in the public perception outside the ring, he's going to have to continue fighting. Like, eventually, you know, the shine wears off if you don't fight. No matter how good your accomplishments was in the ring, eventually, you know, the attention goes to somebody else. That's just human nature. And um, I just believe Mayweather's missing the light, man. I believe him and Manny Pacquiao are going to fight again. I mean, how can they not fight again all the money they made on the first fight? You know what I'm saying? That's potential. Another $200 million. And Mayweather said he's trying to get to a billion dollars. He, he said he a couple hundred thousand dollars off a billion dollars. And that fight will make a lot of more money because boxing is about what have you done for me lately. Even though Pacquiao had that fight against Mayweather, that first fight, and um, the whole shoulder thing, which I just thought it was a bunch of crock that uh, Pacquiao came up with the shoulder injury stuff because I don't if you get in the ring, you don't talk about injuries. You don't even talk. You don't. You don't talk about injuries or nothing. So if I was Manny Pacquiao, I would have kept that to myself about the injury or the whole injury thing. But um, nevertheless, Pacquiao just beat Bradley. You know, uh, Bradley is still considered one of the top welterweights in the world. Uh, people's, I guess people. A lot of people thought Pacquiao was done after the Mayweather fight. I don't know why Mayweather didn't do anything to him to be physically or mentally to be done. I don't know why i don't know why people get this perception and when mayweather beat somebody that they're done you know it's countless of people that went on and won world titles after mayweather fought them pacquiao i mean not pacquiao Cotto won a middleweight undisputed middleweight title even um ricky hadn't won another title after mayweather fought him after he fought mayweather so i don't know about that perception but anyway uh mass kellerman did say in a um during the fight that Manny Pacquiao is the best fighter of his generation. Now, I disagree with that because Mayweather beat Pacquiao. And I believe me, I love Manny Pacquiao. And I had countless and countless debates with a lot of people. You know, a lot of my guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like Jay Deal and, and Bostonologist and... A lot of people I had, you know what I'm saying, debates with. And when the fight happened, I wanted the fight to happen. And when the fight happened and uh, Mayweather won, he's the best fighter of the generation uh, so far. You know, unless they fight again, if Manny Pacquiao can win, if they fight again, you know, then, you know, it goes back to like even. Then they would need they would need a third fight to uh, figure that out. But. As of right now, Mayweather is the best fighter of this generation. He beat Manny Pacquiao. He beat, to me, the second best fighter of this generation. The guy that who he needed to fight to become the best fighter of this generation, in my opinion. I, it needed to be settled in the ring, and it was settled in the ring. And I'm all about settling it in the ring. Settle the argument in the ring, and then there's no argument. So right now, Mayweather, I mean, you know, Matt Kellerman, I guess that's his opinion. But, you know, I believe... Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather settled that in the ring and Floyd Mayweather is the fighter of the generation. You know, uh, I can't be, you know, biased towards that because it was settled in the ring and, you know, men, they settle it face to face and they've settled it. 
So let me know what you think. If you think Mayweather going to come back, I let, look, Mayweather is coming back. I don't know when he's coming back, but Mayweather's coming back either the end of this year or next year. And most likely he's going to fight Manny Pacquiao or another big fight. May, Mayweather's not going to come back for no chump change. He's going to come back for a really, really big fight. And the, and the really, really big fight out there is Manny Pacquiao. So let me know what you think. This is Bozzy Talk 8576. I'm out.